$800 for a Warzone 120 plus FPS PC build. No problem. I've been getting a lot of queries from our viewers on what the best budget build is for Warzone. So here we are. I'm going to pick out the specs for this setup and the parts we're looking at is based off Amazon US, but would still apply to anyone living outside the US. Now, what we're going to focus on this video are PC specs and I'm going to tell you why we picked these ones out. But before we proceed, can you guys do me a favor and hit that like button? It really helps us a lot and getting this video more exposure. Anyway, let's start off with a CPU. For the CPU, we are going to choose the 10400 if This is a really good value CPU. 6 cores, 12 threads and only at $127. Very capable and would be enough if you're doing like gaming and some multitasking. Now for our motherboard, we're going to pick the B560 chipset. So we are picking the MSI motherboard. Now there's a few of these ones, but don't get confused, There's, I know this one's tempting, the B560M Pro E at $79. Don't pick this one because it has no RGB Bruh. slots. Like literally no 12 volts or 5 volts on this one. We're going to lose some performance because of oh. RGB's missing. <laughs> There's also this one, the B560M-A, same thing. It still has no RGB slots at $89. What we really wanted is this one here, the B560M Pro, um, just the Pro Series at $89. It comes with a heatsink on the NVMe and has those 12 and 5 volt RGB slots for our lights. Now for our RAM, it's pretty simple. We wanted 3200 megahertz of um, 16 gigabytes of RAM. So we have picked this one here, the silicon powered DDR4 RAM turbine. It's in, comes in blue. The main thing is it has decent speeds and that's at CL16. And um, if you don't like the blue color, there's, you can add one more dollar and you can have this gray one. Same thing, still at 3200 megahertz, CL16. So it's pretty simple and easy RAM, nothing flash about it. Now for our storage, we have picked an NVMe. Um, it makes things clean and tidy because it doesn't have any cables. So we can just slot it in on our motherboard and use that heatsink. It would really look really tidy. For our choice, we have picked the theme group MP33. It's only at $46, but comes at 512 gigabytes and our second option was also, if you add like two more dollars, is this one here, a silicon power 512 gigabytes as well. Now, both of these ones have five year warranty. So that's pretty good. For the GPU, we have two options. Our main option is the XFX Speedster Swift 210 RX 6600 non-XT with eight gigabytes of video memory. It is a pretty good um, GPU. We've had um, a few tests with our RX 6600 and it's quite good, especially for Warzone. And you could use the universal RSR if you want to have more FPS. You know, you downscale it a bit, set the resolutions lower, and then it will just upscale to back to native 1080p. And then it's pretty good. The alternative for this one is the RTX 3050. Um, what we have here is the Gigabyte version OC at 379 US dollars. I put this option here because um, for Warzone players who like to stream at lower bit rates, this probably might be your option. You could use NVENC when you're streaming. You may need to use DLSS if you want more FPS using the RTX 3050 because it doesn't have the raw brute force as the RX 6600 non-XT. So you've got a couple of options here, really solid options. Personally, I would go with the RX 6600, but that's because I don't stream and I just game. For our power supply, we have picked the Thermaltake Smart BX1 RGB. 
80 plus bronze um it comes at 550 watts the main thing in here is it has 550 watts which would be enough for our rx 6600 non-xd or our rtx 3050 it comes with that rgb fan as well if that matters to you the main thing in here is it's only 40 dollars so this is quite a good deal it's um it's on sale from 55 dollars so definitely we would pick this and alternative would be this one the antique bronze power supply csk 550 watts as well 80 plus bronze and doesn't come with that rgb fan but it has that you know that yellow um stripe in there really good well i think this is a this is a pretty decent power supply for our budget and for our case we just made everything simple we just want something that fits our budget and the one that fits our budget is the raid max i3 series mid tower adx so it comes with three argb lead fans which is really important because argb we had that slot in our motherboard that will just slot in and my thing is it only comes at 60 dollars and it has that mesh front and a lot of expansion on the top so it's quite decent yes it's good value so we'll stick with this one and that's all our specs guys so if you look at all our tally in there for the rtx 3050 using the rtx 3050 card we will total up to exactly 800 dollars and 11 cents with the rx 6600 non-xd this would be 10 dollars less which is about 789 dollars still within our budget and you've got that extra money to purchase your windows 10 key so you can source that one out there's a lot of that there's a lot of keys in the internet you could just buy them about 15 dollars and just use that for your setup hopefully this buying guide is helpful to you i put down the links of all the parts in the description so you can access that one anytime and if you want to see the performance of the rx 6600 non-xd with amd's universal upscaling technology rsr click this video right here and i'll see you guys over there